What's up, y'all? This is Nate Davis again. We're checking a defective map sensor. I'm sorry I can't get the whole thing on the film. Oh, using a vacuum pump. Look at this vacuum pump here. Every five inches, this vacuum should change. If you watch this meter, it never moves. That means we had a defective sensor. But the 20 inches of vacuum still stays at four volts, never change. We had to change up a new one. Put a new map sensor on this car. We had a cold for it. We had a lack of power. Uh, this is 2004 Mitsubishi Milan. Now here's the new one. After have to put the new one on there. Now we're using the engine vacuum instead of a vacuum pump. Now we're going to use an engine vacuum. Every time we rev the engine, that voltage should go up. We're on a signal wire. When the vacuum drops, the signal goes up, indicating the vehicle is under load. Now remember the last one used a vacuum pump. And every time we added vacuum to it, it never moved. It stayed at 4 volts all the time. Now look at this one. This has 18 inches of vacuum at 1 volt. When I rev it, I lose the vacuum, the voltage goes up. That's an indication of a good sensor. We're on the signal wire. Ground circuit. We know signal wire, we rev the engine up, we lose the vacuum, the voltage should go up. See, that's a good reading. See, every time we lose vacuum, the voltage goes up. We replace the map sensor. And guess what? We get, you about to drive the car out the bay. The car stalls. Check it check and the light comes back on. Like, what the hell? Right in front of the customer. Light came on. 101 and 102. Mass airflow sensor. We have to back the car back up. Now we gotta check the mass airflow sensor. Now I'm using the advantage as a wiring, as a database for the wiring diagram. So now we're gonna check the mass airflow signal grounds and power supply. I'm using a Pico school. I gotta love this Pico school. Look at that glitch. Right now the car is sitting at idle and it's a glitch in the mass airflow sensor. That square wave is supposed to stay uniform. Now, now keep your eye on it. And watch how the square wave changes dimension. It's supposed to stay a square. Square wave is supposed to stay uniform. Square. They're just sitting there, see that? They're just sitting here. Ain't supposed to be that sitting here. It's supposed to be the same square pattern. Look at that glitch. That's sitting there. Look at the glitch right there. Now it's live, okay? Now we're going to get what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rev the engine up and try to get a break up so I can show the students the difference. If you watch it, you see it glitch once in a while. If you, keep, if you keep your eye on this picture, on this last cut, you'll see it breaking up. Now remember, the shape is, is supposed to stay uniform. They might get closer together, but they're supposed to get closer together uniform. And unis unisys, I should say. See, look at the glitches going through there. Look at those two breakups. It's supposed to stay uniform, like I said earlier. It's breaking up. You're gonna get. I'm gonna run it for a little while. It's gonna get worse.
What are you measuring, Mr. Davis? The pulse of the wood would not act well. It would not act well. I want to act up. Now basically I'm just revving it. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get the car to act up. I'll cut out more so you can see the signal. You watch it really good. If I play it back, you'll see the cutout. But I don't want it to do it really bad. So you, so you get a good picture of what's going on. I'm pretty sure as you're watching this signal, you can see the breakup in the signal. You can see the whip changing, you can see the glitches in between the square wave. So it's cutting out, but I'm trying to do it. I'm, I'm trying to get it when it's really bad. Listen to it, you hear that? I mean, the car like, fell on his face with that last rev. Look at this signal. Look at it breaking up. There's all glitches right there. All glitches. What does that indicate? So less air? Air's going out. It ain't picking up. It ain't up. I Now I could have been had stopped revving his engine on this time. But I really want to get a really bad signal to show. Did you hear that engine run bog down? I'm yeah. gonna play it back in a second. You're gonna see it on on the uh, Pico scope. It's wonderful how you can hear my students not paying attention. Now watch, I'm going to play it back. Watch the signal. Watch how bad it got. I recorded it all that time, so now I'm going to play it back. Look at this breakup. Look at the shapes. I went from a narrow scroll wave to a, a dropout to narrow scroll waves to, this, to the bigger size. Definitely a drop out in the mass airflow sensor. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check the power, the ground, and uh, feeds to the mass airflow sensor. The reason I'm doing that is because if I lose the voltage or feed, 
don't have a background, it will cause the same problem. They got me like that before in a GM car. I thought it was a mass airflow sensor, which is a signal problem. I mean, a power problem. What number terminal are you in this room? So I'm going to check the mass airflow sensor input signals to the sensor to make sure they stay there. Which terminal are you in? Number one right now. Number one. Now look at this. I'm going to check the five volts. I'm going to rev the engine. Make sure the five volts, five volts doesn't move. That's good. It stays at five volts. That's really, that's really good. Bought the part, we're gonna exchange it. We're gonna stick it on an air cleaner, take the old one off, and start a new one. Let's see how it goes. So you consider it Now that's a new mass airflow now. Watch the signal. See how uniform it stays, even when I rev it up. That's a signal why I back probing. My pico scope again. Got uniform stays, no okay. glitches, the square wave whip stays the same, everything's nice and uniform. Right. We gave this car back to the customer with the light on. Thanks for watching. And by the time the customer drove the car, two days later the light went off. Please subscribe.